Hey everyone, welcome to DevOps Unlocked, a channel dedicated to covering all things IT automation, Docker, Kubernetes, Linux, and more. Today, we are going to be talking about Ansible. So, what is Ansible? Ansible is a tool used to automate IT tasks. Typically, it is used by engineers, DevOps, or system administrators. So let's take a closer look at how Ansible is typically managed and deployed. Okay, so here in the center of your screen, we have what is called a control node. This is any server that has Ansible installed. For today's demo, it will be a Linux machine. And as we populate the other servers going around the screen, these would be what we call the managed nodes. And these nodes will actually be listed in our inventory file. These nodes will be receiving either any update or any changes that we make. And those changes will be driven by what we call a playbook. So once your playbook is complete, we will begin pushing out those updates to your managed nodes over port 22 or SSH. At its core, Ansible uses what is called modules to drive a lot of the functionality. So in our example today, we will be leveraging the apt module. A module is a unit of code used to perform certain tasks. For example, there's a yum and apt module. There's also restart and copy and a wealth of others. So before we begin, I want to highlight what I think are some incredible features to Ansible. So for number one, your Ansible playbooks will be written and driven using YAML. And I will take YAML over JSON or Ruby any day of the week. Number two, it is agentless, meaning that your managed nodes do not need to have an agent running in order to receive an update. Number three, it is incredibly easy to get started using Ansible, and I will show some documentation on their website as part of this tutorial. And number four, you can automate just about everything using this tool. And I hope to demonstrate that for you all today. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Ansible. On the right, I have my terminal opened up, ready to execute commands. And then on the left, I have Ansible's latest documentation on how to install it. And we will be targeting to install version 2.9, which is the latest version at the time of this recording. Because I'm running Ubuntu, that will be the guide that I follow. And so yeah, let's just begin. I will copy and paste uh, these commands here that you see on the left. So let's start with sudo apt update and then just hit enter, just go through that. Next, we'll install the common software properties. So I'll just highlight that and then copy and paste that here as well. The third step is to add the Ansible PPA, which is the personal package archive. And installing that as well. So this will allow me to then find and install uh, Ansible. So that is the fourth and final step. Just copy and paste that here. And I'm gonna add dash Y just to automatically accept yes. And that is it. We have installed Ansible. So if you clear your screen as I just did and do it Ansible dash v oh no i apologize it's uh, ansible dash dash version and that should give me the confirmation that it has installed successfully and as you can see it is also on version 2.9.6 now that ansible is installed let's build our first playbook so over here on the left i have ansible's just basic guide on how to build a playbook this will provide information 
for new users uh, and it goes into really good detail of just what the syntax looks like and it also has links to just other resources that can help you build the playbook to fit your needs. One thing about playbooks, it is executed from the top down. So you want your steps at the beginning and as you work your way through, those final steps should be towards the bottom. And here is just what a playbook looks like. So just a general template and that we'll actually be using this to build out our playbook today. So let's begin. As you can see, my machine does not have the HTOP package installed. So we will install that using Ansible. So let's begin. I'm going to just type vim space install dash htop.yml. Every playbook begins with three dashes. So let's start there. And I will give this playbook a name. So hyphen space dash name install htop. And for host, uh, I will name my host uh, work. Uh, thing about this here, workstation. I think. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's just name this uh, demo, just because it's a demo. And I will set this option become colon true. So this will allow me to become the sudo or have sudo permissions and this guides right here on the left and it also goes into detail just everything you can do to become sudo and how you can go about doing that uh, for example if you want to sudo as like into apache or another user there's some examples here so it is it is uh, really good info i'll also link that in the description below because we are downloading and deploying a package to a Ubuntu server, we will need to take advantage of the apt module. So here's some documentation just going into further detail that will be in the description below. But now that we have this here, we can begin building this out. So I'm gonna type task colon, and this will tell Ansible that I wanna start you know, taking action uh, against my control nodes do colon name and I'll just say download and install htop. Next I'm going to tell Ansible I want to use the apt module ansible dot built in dot apt And I'll state my name here. And in this case, it'll be htop. And then I'll set the state to latest. So what this will do is Ansible will download htop if it is not present on the target host and we'll install it. Referring back to the diagram from earlier, this is what it'll look like once we deploy the htop package to our managed nodes. We have one more task to do before we deploy this playbook, and that is building out our inventory file. So as you can see here, the host group that we're targeting is demo. And here's the documentation on the left. Because we are deploying back to the local host, we will need to refer to that and that's actually at the bottom here. So now that we have this information, we can begin building upon our inventory file. So as such, I will start it off with demo. And because I'm targeting localhost, I'll type localhost. And I'll just tab over and type ansible underscore connection equals local. And that is it. We are ready to deploy our playbook. So to do so, we'll type ansible dash playbook. 
and space and the name of the YAML file we had built earlier, which is install-htop.yml. I'll do a space-i demo inv for the demo inventory, and I'll finish off the line with a dash capital K, and that tells Ansible to ask me for the pseudo password. So I'll invoke that here, and once I hit enter, this will deploy. It'll download and install HTOP, and it looks like it ran successful. So if I type HTOP, yep, there it is. HTOP is now downloaded and deployed to the local host. And that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as a like and a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know what or if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer those as well. And yeah, thank you. There will be a part two to this video, so be sure to check back soon. Thanks.